So I've seen some ladies that they are coming to pray and say, Lord, I'm almost 45 years old. I don't have a child. It doesn't make sense to him. He doesn't understand your language. You are the one who understands it. <laughs> in men of us, now men the boss, God not the boss. I've learned that until God tells you I'm done speaking, keep listening. I don't learn that one. I've run with half information before and I ran into trouble. It's God has spoke, but I did not hear it fully. <laughs> You are impatient that's why by his own prerogative he gave you the fruit called long suffering because we think that long suffering is only to suffer in this world sometimes long suffering will mean your ability to persevere in prayer sometimes long <laughs> sometimes long suffering will be that thing that will keep you put when you are praying and god is speaking but you know he's not done with what he's saying you know you are not meant to run with this one there's still much more for him to say, for that he wants to say to you and until you reach it, your spirit knows the tipping point. You are the one that took off too early because haste is in your soul. So if you are moved and operated by the soul life, you will not have the best of God. Did you hear what I said? That's what Elijah operated on the mountain. That he put the first unit of prayer. Nothing happened. He said, okay. He stayed. He stayed. And he stayed seven times. And then servants came and said, I see a cloud forming like the shape of a hand. <laughs> that thing that can keep you in prayer, that will make you stay. Have you stayed long in prayer before? Or you prayed for two weeks and God did not answer and you felt like God does not want to talk to you? Because you thought that you can now calculate God into time. A being that dwells in eternity where there is no time. You think you can bargain with God? Where he does, there's no time. So I've seen some ladies that they are coming to pray and say, Lord, I'm almost 45 years old. I don't have a child. It doesn't make sense to him. He doesn't understand your language. You are the one who understands it. <laughs> In men no boss, now men the boss. God not the boss. <laughs> now men the boss. God no boss. <laughs> And Sarah is a good example. Perfect example. You don't negotiate with God with time. I say, I'm old. I'm almost 30. I never married. Destiny is not measured in time. It's measured in light. What have you heard? What have you received? What has God told you? Which scrolls of your destiny have you uncovered? <laughs> That's how destiny is measured. That's how this thing is special.